Hello Capricorn and welcome to your November reading. So, I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. First card that came out, I have Temperance and the Six of Cups. Temperance is all about divine timing. Divine timing not because it's the month of November. Divine timing because we are ready emotionally to receive, understand, uh, whatever. See the big picture, heal. We are ready. Here with the Six of Cups. Could be some of you will be dealing with um, things from your childhood others of you will be dealing anyway anything that has to do with your heart chakra and what you want to offer and receive there the card that comes after is the magician and the magician is all about manifesting our life and this is being ready to manifest something that would be aligned with your heart and I see that for some of you it will be um, of course it has to it can have to do with your work to do something that is more aligned into what you want to bring out there more aligned with your heart chakra and so on I have three cards death eight of pentacle and the lovers Right away, the lovers is a decision. A decision inspired by higher, our higher self, by the universe, by whatever. Uh, and you have like the man and the woman, that means our inner feminine and our inner masculine are one inspired and the other one will take the decision and act upon this inspiration. A bit like the left brain and the right brain and the pineal gland right there in the lover cards eight of pentacle that tells me it's about what you put your energy in what you invest and put your time and the results that you uh, get out and death well death is the end of an old way because of that decision leading to a new so end of a situation maybe that now you are ready to finish that to be able to start something else and uh, here finishing under Sagittari uh, Sagittarius under uh, temperance and the six of cup I have the nine of pentacle and I have strength with the world now you're ready for this new thing you have what it takes nine of pentacle you've built yourself you have the finances if that's what it takes you have the talent the experience for it it's gonna take courage because it is something that asks of you to follow your inner uh, higher self like in the strength card and the world because what was before been there done that that lesson is finished understood so there you will be able to manifest something new something that will be inspired strength card and magician they both have the eternity symbol over their head they understand that the best way to be fulfilled in this life is to have that balance between uh, the two entities of this dual world we're in feminine masculine invisible visible spiritual material always one flowing into another it's having that understanding and the capacity to uh, bring it to be from our higher self under the magician I have the ten of sword you're marking the end of a cycle of sword where the beliefs that you had before um, preventing you prevented you from actually making this decision now now you are ready that's why we call it divine timing under that I have the Pope 
now you see that what is reality, that reality that we see, is not all there is. There's a whole aspect of yourself that needs to be fulfilled. So not just paying the bills and whatnot, but there's a part of your heart, chakra here, that needs to be fulfilled also. Because now you're conscious of these two aspects. With the Pope, this is applying this, opening the doors, commitment, discernment, um, into what you want to manifest here. Under death, uh, eight of pentacles and the lovers, I have you, Capricorn, the devil. So we're really talking about you here that is going to let die the old cycle. And here I have the Queen of Sword. You're going to gain a brand new perspective of what is in front of you. From 10 to 1. And that wand is in your Queen of Sword. So that means it's your perspective of your, from your inner world, your inner self. The King of Sword makes decisions. The Queen of Sword, this is how she grasps what she sees and what is in front of her. And now she has that sword of truth. So when she looks from a Ten of Swords, you know, if she would have the Ten of Swords in front of her, she would only see all the ways that uh, she's been wounded. So she would be bitter and, and whatnot. After the Ten comes an Ace. Here you have Death. You're letting, truly letting that die. And here is your new truth from the wisdom. She has a crown of butterfly of the cycle you've went through before. And now you are emotionally ready to move on. And you are going to make that decision from a very clear, discerning perspective. Bottom of the deck, I have the tree of pentacle. That for a lot of you, it's about work. Um, about the people around you, about what you want your life to look like, what you want to build, okay? Let's clarify this for Capricorn. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for Capricorns for the month of November 2020. It's almost over. 2020. November. Capricorn. Okay. Six of Cups. Talk to me about... The Six of Cups. Ah, eight of Cups, Eight of Wands, two eights. So, the divine timing is there. And here I have the Strength, the Star, and the Six of Wands. To get out of your mental jail of I can't do that because and being stuck in an old situation that wasn't serving you anymore, that's for sure. Because now you're going to decide to kind of choose yourself and to say, you know what, life can be better than that. I'm going to go for it. And now I am ready to go for it. Uh... Because now you will have the strength. Let's look at that magician. Magician for Capricorn. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Two Tens. Two. Uh, manifesting something that would emotionally fulfill you and that would be solid grounded uh this is fruitful ten of pentacle this is uh well it can mark two things because you do have death 
you might be leaving something you've invested a long time in emotionally and physically pentacly and from that you maybe you're going to leave that behind because you know there's more out there and you're going to break that ceiling of where you left yourself feeling you know uh, i can be even more happy i can be um i can have even more i i could feel i, I wasn't growing anymore that's now like three uh cycles of course the world will be there because ten of swords ten of cups ten of pentacle show me death the eight of pentacle and the lovers this is making a decision to finish something oh yeah the fool with the king of cups you're jumping into a brand new cycle because you're ending something it is a choice and is it a choice it's a choice that is emotionally intelligent that is wise even emotionally not just mentally but king of cups emotionally that is aligned with who you truly are vibrationally in your cups there are you okay buddy nine of pentacles show me the nine of pentacles there's the death okay you're even willing to risk see ten of ones another ten you're you've been carrying a lot this is something that you've been like invested in so many levels and you are willing to let go of something that was you know that brought you stability and all of that uh, in your life to do a leap of faith because right now you feel it in your heart show me the world and the strength uh, judgment yeah Queen of Wands, it's the law of attraction. This is what you desire inside, what your, makes you vibrate, makes your heart sing, but at the same time gives you that, uh, yes, this is what I want. So you're going to make this judgment call out of your higher self to finish a cycle in your life. And here is Mr. Black Buddy. So let's look at that Ten of Sword. It's under the Magician with the Ten of Wands, uh, the Ten of Cups, sorry. Ten of Sword. Show me the Ten of Sword for Capricorns. of wands with eight of swords yeah the eight of swords came again and here i have the queen of cups uh what was preventing that kind of i'm going for it i'm taking the risk i'm doing it you were kind of stuck in your head and and now it's like no that's it i'm i'm ready to make that decision it's a question of being ready to make the decision and your discernment based on your feminine your your the high priestess the pope is the counterpart of the high priestess he enacts in uh, reality pope what is kind of understood by your spiritual side by your feminine by the part of you that is connected with your soul strength magician and the universe queen of sword and pope total discernment coming down here but it's out of your will power because you've decided to 
and you're like, no, no, I'm going for more. Not just more financially. I'm going for more emotionally into what I want to build in my life. Uh, devil. Show me the devil for Capricorn. And of course the devil is your card. That's it. Knight of Cups. You're going to follow your heart. Two of Wands. This is your new path. You're going to decide to follow your heart and finish something you've been in for a very long time. Uh, Queen of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Because you're going to decide that. Yeah, that's it. You are not going to let your mind sabotage you or whatever, undermine you. You're looking at this. You, you have the capacity this month to look at all of that from a different point of view, from a completely different angle. And that's why you'll be able to get out of that mental prison and actually two of wands see and grab that pentacle. That's your new perspective. A new perspective with new opportunities. Because you're going to take this new path. And this new path is a path where you will follow your heart. Not just what makes sense logically or whatever. Your drive will be guided by your heart chakra. So, following your heart. That's going to be the title of your month of November. So, my beautiful Capricorns, I'm going to wish you a beautiful month filled with light. And I thank you for watching, commenting, subscribing, please, to Arise the Channel, and uh, sharing and all of that. If you want a private reading, the description is below. You write to me at that email and I'll give you the procedure. Um, apart from that, thank you for the ones of you that gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on a new moon, full moon, I do a little ceremony to give you back. Apart from that, uh, again, all my love and light for the month of November. And I guess I'll see you next month.